what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna finally get to take a look at one of the biggest surprises of the year the Zontes M310 now I did ride a prototype version of this scooter uh, about two months ago in Athens but today we finally got it in Romania I finally got to get myself acquainted with it because that was just an hour long ride through the city i didn't get a chance to take a proper good look at the scooter just to see how it just rode it but now we're gonna take it from front wheel to back wheel as we usually do and i'm gonna take you through all the little details of this scooter and believe me there are a lot of details so without further ado let's get straight into it let's start up front so First thing we see is a big windscreen. Now, this windscreen is electrically adjustable in two positions, high position, low position. Now, this may seem like a bit of a narrow screen, but it's because it has to clear the mirrors. But don't be fooled, it gives, it's pretty tall and it gives a lot of protection against the wind, especially in its high position because it has a very acute angle and it throws the air far above you. Moving down, we have the turn signal indicators right here. They're LED. Everything is LED on this scooter, so I don't have to mention it again. Everything is LED. So the turn signals, we have our high and low beam here. Also, we have one daytime running light here and two others right here that uh, give the scooter a bit of a front fascia that looks kind of like Iron Man a little bit. Now, these light up only when you turn the engine on. So, if we want to see them light up... Now, these are on and we can get a sense of the look of the scooter. A bit of an Iron Man face with the eyes here and the mouth here. It's an interesting design choice, but I'm, it's growing on me. It's growing on me quite a bit, to be honest. Moving on down, we have two holes here that lead to a radiator that's mounted right behind them. And also, we do have, I don't know if it's quite visible, but we do have a second radiator right down here. Right, um, right behind the front wheel. But don't worry, it has a radiator guard and also the mud guard of the wheel goes way below the radiator. So it's going to stay pretty clean and it's pretty safe down there. A normal style fork, front brake disc with a dual piston caliper with ABS, everything running on a 14 inch wheel with a 110 section tire up front. Moving around to the side and the back, we have our floorboards here for the rider, we have our, our fuel tank here which is 12 liters and the fuel door is electric. We have our exhaust, we have our 309 cc engine this is a derivative of the zontes engine from the motorcycles it's a little bit detuned because it has 33 brake horsepower and 32 newton meters of torque but then again this scooter wet and ready to ride weighs just 168 kilograms that's not much heavier than a 125 cc and it still has 33 brake horsepower our exhaust a single piston caliper on the back, again on the brake on a brake disc with a 140 section rear tire running on a 14 inch rim. ABS on the back also. And here we can see our passenger foot pegs, which come out with a nice satisfying click. And also they are rubber covered, so the passenger doesn't feel any vibrations. Also, the grab rails have a bit of a cutout here, so you can if, even if you have larger hands, you can easily get a grab on it pretty nicely. Our LED lights, brake light, LED indicators and a number plate light. And that's about it for this side. On the left hand side, we have our center stand, our side stand, again our floorboards, our transmission, normal CVT transmission, nothing special, works great, our passenger foot pegs and like I've said a 12 liter fuel tank. Now some may say that this is a city scooter. Well yes and no because uh, if you're a tall rider you're just gonna keep your legs right here. 
and that for you it's a city scooter but if you're a shorter rider like i am at 175 centimeters for me this is not a city scooter to be honest for me this can be a very very good long distance tourer because yes i can keep my legs here in your normal city riding position but because i have short legs if i put them right up here it's a very very comfortable position i have a very slight angle in my knee the handlebars are where they should be i have a bit of a back support a nice wide seat comfortable i can raise my windscreen and as you can see the windscreen is just in line with my forehead i'm looking right above the windscreen but when i'm riding the air just goes right above me so for me if you're a tall if you're a shorter rider this can actually be a very very comfortable long distance tourer and in terms of reaching the ground it's not very tall at 760 millimeter tall seat height but it's a bit wide but i can still reach the ground pretty decently i can't flat foot it but uh, this is a decent reach and it's easy for me to keep it stable to keep it upright it's not a problem at all and also because it only weighs 168 kilograms full wet with a full tank of gas and all the weight is right down low below your knee you can see the fuel tank is below my knee this makes it very very easy and maneuverable moving around to the dashboard we have adjustable brake levers front and rear brake we have our kill switch our running lights and uh, low beams our daytime running lights and low beams engine start button our lock and unlock our fuel for the fuel door our seat for the seat here we can take this out just pulling on it and we have a mount for a phone holder actually it comes in the box with the scooter it's a little bracket that comes out right here like a little tongue a metal piece and you can mount your phone mount to it on the left hand side we have our set and mode buttons we use those to navigate the screen we have our windscreen adjustment we have our hazard lights indicators horn high and low beam and also right here a passing light in terms of dashboard we have the same about six to seven inch tft screen with a lot of options and menus you can choose the backlight you can choose you can connect your phone to it via bluetooth it even has a tire pressure monitoring system so at all time you can see if you have a flat tire or not a little bit down we have our two cubby holes this one on the right side is not lockable it's pretty small and this one on the left side it opens now because because i have the ignition on but if you don't have the ignition on let's switch it off if you don't have the ignition on the right side opens but the left side does not open so actually this is lockable this is not lockable and also we have our key fob which is the normal Zontes key fob that you can put in a me wristband to get under the seat we use the electric seat popper and the seat is spring loaded so it is easy to lift and it sits in place up front here we have the battery and here we have space for one helmet with a light and our toolkit and that's about it for under the seat nothing special here just room for one helmet i would have liked a little bit more under seat storage but it is what it is also you can hang your helmet if you have a d-link right here so who is this scooter for well like i've said zont has made it as a regular city scooter but with a 33 brake horsepower engine and such a lightweight it's extremely fast unfortunately we can't take it out on the road just yet if it gets registration we're going to take it out on the road if you want to see how it does on the road check out my video of it riding through athens and as soon as we get it out on the road i'm gonna do my series of performance tests because honestly i think this is just as fast as the maxim tl which is amazing to say 
but because of the low weight i think it's just as fast as the tl but if you're a shorter rider like i am this may not be just a city scooter because of the comfortable position i can get into because i have shorter legs and a shorter stature with the windscreen up this for me would make a very very comfortable long distance tourer small light maneuverable but still comfortable for the long haul and plenty of power for highways it power is something this scooter isn't lacking but i think it's about time at least around the yard to take it for a spin and get a sense of it show you guys what i mean by speed Come on, let's go. Okay, once again on the Zont SN310. Now this is a scooter that in Athens really, really impressed me. Uh, because I wasn't expecting it to like it this much. I thought it was just a small dinky little scooter with a big engine. Okay, so what? Zont has made a scooter. Zont makes motorcycles, they don't make scooters. But then I rode it. And uh, because I didn't have a chance to get acquainted with it, to say that, you know, maybe there are too many electronics, it's too full of electronics, it's too iffy, it's too this, it's too that, I got to ride it first. And believe me, it, it blew me away. The riding experience just blows you away because it's a small light scooter. We're puddling around, around at 17, 18 kilometers an hour, one-handed, easy to balance, easy to control. The throttle is extremely linear. I mean, I can go from 60, okay, let's go to 20. Okay, that's 19, that's 18, 20, 22. It's extremely linear. You, you would think it's a small 125cc scooter, but Raise the windscreen up so you can get a bit of wind protection. Find a bit of straight road. And uh, as soon as you open it up, all hell breaks loose. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh. It kind of overpowers its brakes. Good thing this thing has ABS because god damn it can you find yourself in some pretty tricky situations. I mean it's very not not difficult at all to get it up to some dangerous speeds to be honest. And the engine feels like it would pull forever like a freight train. It's a good thing the, the handling is on par because in case something happens and you don't have time to break, at least you have time to avoid something because it's very light and very maneuverable. Just chuck it into corners, feed in the power, be careful with the power so you don't fit in way too much. <coughs> and wait to get straight and then put the hammer down. Absolutely beautiful, you have to be wary. I think, you know, when I said the cruise sim doesn't need traction control, but it's nice to have. Well, this doesn't have traction control, and I think it really would need it. Because if the tarmac is not in perfect condition, it can't get squirrely on you. This much power can't get squirrely on you. If we have something like this gravel and we go to car, we do brake traction. And like here, power, braking traction, at least it's stable. That's one thing I have to say about it. Yeah, it brakes traction, but weight is low and it's stable. Even if you're in a corner and you floor it, back and steps out a little bit, but not too much. It's easily controllable if you know how to do it a little bit. If you slid around your motorcycle every now and then, you can get a sense of how to manage the power. But you do have to be wary of it. You have to be wary of the power because it is there and it can bite you if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do know what you're doing, oh, you can have quite a lot of fun with this thing. If you mash on the front brake, the ABS kicks in and it's no problem. Even on the back, the ABS works just fine. But it's a little bit not intrusive, which I like. Because if you want to slide it around a little bit, it gives you the option to slide it around a little bit. But 
in case you actually need a panic stop situation like let's say here we're going 40 and break and that's it we're gonna go up there and get up to some decent speed let's see here let's see we, we've done stupid things we've opened it up and braking full on abs brings it to a stop no problem the power is a lot for such a light scooter the power is a lot if you use it just for the city honestly i think it's too much power but if you're planning on doing some some long distance trips besides just riding it through the city and you can fit on it very very well like i do i actually love this riding position it's extremely comfortable for me this is a very good option honestly this is an extremely good option because it's small it's light you can put a top case on the back it has power for days brakes work great grip is good such a fun bike and such a huge surprise zontes the motorcycles are good but this thing is awesome there are no rattles from the plastics everything is solid there are no rattles coming from the plastics this usually big maxi scooters have rattly plastics it's rattly fairings it's normal it's every scooter has it this one is actually pretty well put together and considering this is Zontes' first effort at a scooter that's what I'm amazed about because this is their first effort they haven't been doing this for tens of years this is just their first proper scooter and it's awesome it's a yes it's a parts been special they took the controls from the motorcycles the screen from the motorcycles the motors for adjusting the windscreen from the motorcycles the dash the everything the mirrors they took the engine detuned it a little bit put a CVT transmission on it and called it a scooter but you know what those parts work and those parts make for a really awesome machine it, it pulls for days it's well made it's extremely light and maneuverable underneath you you can have a lot of fun with it you can be a hooligan with it but then again if you want to chill you can just chill like I'm right now I'm just chilling 24 kilometers an hour one-handed through bumps through potholes just chilling it really is a jack of all trades and uh, it may not look like it but it can embarrass quite quite a lot of motorcycles now before I sign off because I don't have much else to say about it for now until we can take it out on the road and I'm gonna try my best to find a way to take it out on the road but before we go just look at the speed 20 30 40 50 60 70 almost 80 in what's i don't know 100 meters from here to there less than 100 meters amazing but that has been it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video on the zontes 310m if you enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe also if you want to check out the amazon affiliate links it really helps the channel out quite a lot and until next time take care out there and ride safe goodbye <laughs>